Hi, I'm Russ of Aquarimax. Welcome to Your First Tank. This is a video series that will help you set up your first aquarium successfully. Fish kept in an uncycled tank can poison themselves within a few days. The easiest way to solve this problem, of course, is by cycling the tank. As I've mentioned in previous videos, this means encouraging the growth of beneficial bacteria colonies. These bacteria process the toxic ammonia and convert it into nitrite and then nitrate, which is much less toxic to fish. Today, I'll outline the process of fishless cycling, which is by far the safest and most humane way to cycle your aquarium, and then give you some tips on how to speed up the cycling process a bit. In simplest terms, fishless cycling is adding food for the beneficial bacteria to an aquarium for a period of time. The beneficial bacteria develop a healthy population, after which you can add fish with a minimum of stress. To start, you should have your tank full of dechlorinated water with your heater and filter running. You'll also need a food source for the bacteria, and I highly recommend a test kit, at least for ammonia and nitrite. Here's a little information on test kits. I don't receive any compensation for saying this, but I use the API Master Freshwater Test Kit. This kit costs about $22 online and includes tests for ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH, and high pH. After you cycle your tank, you'll have lots of tests left over to periodically test conditions in your aquarium. The test kits store well, lasting for several years. Test kits require some precision for accurate results, but after a few times, they're really pretty easy. So where do the bacteria themselves come from? Well, the good news is you don't actually have to add them to the aquarium. They'll find the aquarium on their own as long as they have a food source and oxygen and water. That said, it is possible to seed your aquarium with the proper bacteria to jumpstart the cycling process, and we'll talk about that later on in the video. How do you feed the bacteria without adding fish or fish waste? Well, there are several possible ways to do that. It's possible to do it by adding a few flakes of fish food every few days, but I don't really recommend that method as the nutrients in the fish food can also give a jump start to algae. You might wonder if it's possible to go to the dollar store and just get a bottle of household ammonia and use that. Well, unfortunately, not really. Most ammonia sold in stores for use as a cleaning agent contains surfactants and other substances that could kill your fish. So I only use ammonium chloride sold for use in aquariums, just to be safe. I don't receive any compensation for saying this. I use Dr. Tim's ammonia. It's an ammonium chloride solution specifically sold for cycling aquariums. A bottle like this one doesn't cost very much. I think I purchased it for about $8, and you can even find it for cheaper. There are simple yet detailed instructions. The link that is below here on the screen is also in the item description. I recommend you read and follow the instructions at that link. But to summarize them, basically what you do is add one drop of ammonia per gallon to the tank initially, and then every few days you test for ammonia, and if the concentration goes below one part per million, you add, again, one drop per gallon. You do that every few days as needed. Whenever the uh, ammonia level is below one part per million, you add some more. And after a week or two or three, it depends on many factors, you'll find that the ammonia is at zero. Once the ammonia reaches zero, within 24 hours of you adding ammonia, you can start testing for nitrite. You should see a positive reading for nitrite at this point. Continue adding ammonia every few days and testing for ammonia and nitrite. Once they both consistently read at zero, 24 hours after you add them, congratulations, your tank is cycled. You should do a large water change, maybe between 60 and 80 or even 90% and then you're ready to go. Don't wait more than a few days before buying your fish or the bacterial colonies will start to starve. If you find that you can't buy fish as soon as you thought you were going to be able to, simply add ammonia every few days as before and then the day before you go to get your fish, do a large water change again and your tank will be good to go. As you can see, cycling takes some time. The good news is you can use that time to research the types of fish that you're interested in and make sure that you find some fish that will be a good fit for the size of your tank and for the conditions that you can provide. I'm about to share some tips that can help speed up the cycling process. Now, 
They may help speed things up, but you still need to make sure you test for ammonia and nitrite. And make sure you get readings of zero before you add any fish. Tip number one, just increase the temperature a bit during the cycling process. About 80 to 85 degrees, the bacteria will develop more quickly. And then before you add your fish, you can gradually reduce the temperature down to between 75 and 78. Tip number two is to use a live bacterial additive. There are lots of products on the market that are supposed to contain live bacteria that will help speed up the cycling process. There are also several types of substrate that are supposed to do the same thing. So you might want to look into some of those. I have used some of the live substrates and they do seem to help accelerate the cycling process. Tip number three is to put an established filter on your tank. If you happen to have a friend with an aquarium and you can add a filter to their tank and let it run for about a month before you start your tank, you can just take that filter and move it right over to your tank and it will already contain uh, the beneficial bacteria that you need. Now, when you're transporting that filter to your tank, keep in mind that the bacteria should be treated as very perishable. They can't take extremes of temperature and they can't dry out and they need access to oxygen during that uh, transport period. Number four is to add some filter medium from an established tank. If you can't actually set up a filter on someone else's tank, but they'll allow you to take some of their used filter medium, in other words, their filter pad or a sponge, something like that, from their tank and put it into your filter, that can also help accelerate the process. Preferably, you should use medium from a filter that's been on the tank for a month or more and has had some time to accumulate some bacteria. A little gunk on there is a good thing. Despite the fact that fishless cycling is the safest, most humane method of cycling a tank, you'll still get people who suggest that you purchase a couple of small hardy fish and put them in the tank and allow those fish to provide the waste that cycles the tank. Now, it's probably better than adding all your fish at once, but best case scenario, those fish are gonna be subjected to quite a bit of stress, so I don't recommend this method. In the next video, we'll finally cover stocking your tank with fish.